Problem 8-22, we're going to be doing part A. So in this, we just want to simplify each of these expressions. So let's write it down to start with. So we have negative 4 over 5, or 4 fifths, plus 7 over 12, or 7 twelfths. So to add fractions like this, we just want to get the denominators the same. So then we can just add them. So we need to find a common denominator, and we have 5 and 12. So I think 60 would be the smallest denominator. So we need to make both of these 60, which is just 5 times 12. So over here on the left, to get 5 to 60, we multiply it by 12. So let's do the same to the top. So we'll have 12 times 4, which is 48 over 60. And then over here on the right, we need to multiply 12 by 5 to get 60. So let's do the same on top. So we have 7 times 5, which is going to be 35. And 12 times 5 is going to be that 60. So we have the same denominator. So now we can just simply add these two fractions. And the reason we can multiply each side by, you know, different numbers is that we're multiplying the side, like this side is, we're multiplying by 5 over 5, which is essentially just 1. So... You can multiply by 1 without changing the value of it. Alright, so now what we have to do is do this addition. So we have a negative 48 over 60 over here and a positive 35 over 60 over here. So we can just do negative 48 plus 35, which is going to be negative 13, and that is over 60.